This is Mia King's exam mini video two. Epistasis is an expression of alleles at one locus which masks or modifies the expression of other alleles at another locus. This allows multiple different genotypes to lead to the same phenotype. So let's look at a simpler example of epistasis. Say you have to drive to school to take an exam. Well, to be able to take your exam, you have a couple steps to go through first. First, you need to find and get your keys. Then you have to get in the car and drive to the testing center. Finally, you need to sit down and take your test. This pathway is demonstrated in the top image. However, if you cannot find your keys, then you cannot drive to the center and cannot sit down to take the exam. Similarly, if you can find your keys but cannot start your car, then you will not be able to sit down and take the exam. This pathway is demonstrated in the lower image. This demonstrates that two or more different dream loci contribute to the same phenotype. In this example, sitting down and taking the exam was the final phenotype. Single dominant recessive epistasis results in a big A allele acting as a repressor and preventing the intermediate or the final phenotype. If someone has a big A allele, either heterozygous or homozygous, they will remain a human. In order to be a vampire, they must have homozygous recessive little a. Then, once they are a vampire, another gene loci will determine their eye color. If there is a big B allele, then the vampire will have blue eyes. However, if the genotype is little b, little b, then they will have red eyes because they cannot go through enzyme 2. Therefore, we will see 12 humans, 3 vampires with blue eyes, and 1 vampire with red eyes. This results in a ratio of 12 to 3 to 1, which is a single dominant epistasis. When you create a Punnett square for this dihybrid cross of two humans, you are able to see all of the resulting genotypes. In this example, there are four different possible genotypes. They are listed on the right. But if you look closely, you will see that there are only three phenotypes. For this example, a blue shaded region represents a vampire with blue eyes, a red shaded region represents a vampire with red eyes, and no shading indicates a human. This cross results in 12 individuals being normal or human, big A, big B, or big A, two little Bs, while three individuals are vampires with blue eyes and one individual is a vampire with red eyes. Therefore, it is a single dominant epistasis cross. When you create a Punnett square by crossing these individuals, a human and a vampire with blue eyes, you will only see two different phenotypes and two genotypes. In this example cross, you will be given eight humans and eight vampires with blue eyes represented by the blue shaded regions. This cross results in an epistasis radio not discussed in our class of one-to-one.